Good evening, everybody. And welcome. Thank you for sharing your evening with us. We hope uh, all of us can have a bit of fun. Uh, Collide is about bringing some provocative subjects with some interesting panelists and having good discussions. One of the challenges that uh, businesses face is trying to uh, be more human. And so if you even think about uh, dealings with, say, insurance companies or a number of uh, these sort of big institutions where the responses that you get feel quite sort of mechanical, even though you're dealing with a human being. It is not an age of, of man versus machine, but rather man and machine, right? Because I think in the center of all of this is the client experience, mm -hmm. right? It's all about creating better, outstanding client experiences that show a superior value to your clients. I would like to talk about um, how the way we interact with brands, with our daily life, is going to change over time. And it's going to change over time because there will be new devices, there will be new technologies, there will be new solutions that are going to be uh, very quickly adopted because they improve the quality of life we have. And that's where we're going to not make a, a conflict between physical and digital, but how can we bridge all of that into one? Um, for us, e-commerce is not about the E, it's about, about the commerce. Uh, we want to do business. We are lucky that today the present is good. Digital, as you said, e-commerce is 10% max. So we still enjoy 90% of the share. And uh, we can make money out of it and we can finance our future. And we don't depend on the shark investors. So that's how we are going to build our future. I think well, from my perspective that brands should always work uh, to use technology in an enabling uh, position and that that human experience or human life experience should always take the forefront. You, you don't want to scale out of the bricks and mortar when it's still 90% of the, the revenue coming from there, right? So end of the day, get it in. Do you want to be in a marketplace, having your own webshop? You can be both places and end of the day, as that continuously outgrow, you know, scale down your shops. But I would rather see that approach instead of the panic approach or let's say the gold digger. Uh, but uh, I think a phased uh, approach into uh, understanding what steps you do to provide an equal quality and equal value proposition level in both sides is the key. What we try to do in the UAE, we try to keep the present strong. I mean, that's why we took over the Festival City Panda Hyper Market, because that's what happened. I mean, if you go in the present, then you secure a kind of potential money that you can invest in the future. So. That's really the kind of trade-off that we had on, on, in front of us. I mean, should we invest a lot in the future with a risk on the present or secure the present and then manage with the Magida Fruitem ecosystem a better future altogether instead of being siloed? siloed. So that's really the non-trade-off that we've been through. So what, in your opinion, some of these retailers haven't done right to get to where they are now and some of the biggest brands in the world are having to shut down so many stores? If you do the right business, if you have the right approach, if you care about your products, your range, your prices, then you will find a way to go through. Rather than having very large footprint stores, which is actually what led to the bricks and mortar going under, they could have smaller footprint stores, but instead of having all the stock on the floor in, in quite prime uh, retail positions, they could have a, a, a smaller amount of stock and then sort of have uh, endless aisles. So there'd be a couple of each model and then there'd be, say, an iPad or some display and you could scroll through different colors or, or vari uh, variants and different specifications. So uh, you could take the best of what this online retailer had along with the, the customer service and the fitting and the care that you had from that bricks and mortar and that's proved that model has proven to be very successful for them. What we are seeing in, in few of these cases where they're extremely hard hit because they, they are hit harder than it, they should be, right? So I think there's something more fundamental, fundamentally wrong with their business and maybe that they haven't had a really client-centric view, right? In terms of who is actually my audience and is my audience shifting and if I want to bring in new clients instead of I have an aging, dying uh, audience group, right? Am I actually following along? 
consumers at the end of the day prevail because they say I want freedom of choice, I want to choose the best experience that I want and only when you focus on that you can succeed. Uh, what's your view on digital technology being used for business to business companies? You know, companies more conventional, whether it's shipping or chemicals uh, that we come from. It's not different in terms of the focus we need to have on the digital side, uh, although that, of course, it's, it's not a, a, a swipe two second buy that you end up, and it's a, maybe a nine or one year long engagement before you actually sign a contract. That's hugely important in terms of all of the input that the clients assimilate before they make their decision, right? It's not man versus machine, it's man and machine. And therefore, the way that it's important to invest in technology and the machine and enhance that, but nevertheless, it's equally important to invest in our employees and the human and creating that integration and synergy between man and machine to deliver an enhanced experience to the customer. And by that, I, I close this and thank you again for all of this. Initially when we started out, we kept the member membership criteria to be 10 to 15 years of experience, CMO level. Uh, we've just recently launched uh, the corporate membership as well. So for those of you who are not members and are looking for corporate or individual members, you can get in touch with me, any of the board members, or Alistair here, who's here from our UK office. I am standing between you and your liquids and your canapes, so I will close now. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the event.